Greetings, and uh, it is our joy and privilege to be able to come to you this week and spend some time in God's Word and in prayer together each day of this week. I felt that this week we could take some time to look at a very familiar passage from the 15th chapter of John, and we will make our journey through the first eight verses. Now, of course, this is a very familiar passage where Jesus talks about the wine, the wine dresser and the branches. And, and then he gives us, he uses this illustration to speak to us about some very important spiritual truths. So we will spend our time this week on uh, uh, reflecting on the wine, the wine dresser and the branches. Now, as we begin to examine what the Lord Jesus spoke to us in John 15 verses 1 through 8, one of the things we need to keep in mind is that the Lord Jesus used illustrations from our world to teach us about spiritual things, about things of, the, of His kingdom. And uh, uh, He left it to us to understand the illustration and then get the truth that He wanted to, us to go after. And of course, we have to be careful when we do that. We don't want to uh, take the illustration off in directions he never intended uh, for it to go, but to stay with the main truth that he intended to convey to us. And that's what we will attempt to do as we talk about the wine, the wine dresser, and the branches. So in John 15 and verse 1, Jesus begins by saying, I am the true wine, and my Father is the wine dresser. So he introduces something very important to us as he uses the illustration of the wine and the wine dresser and the branches. He points to himself as the wine. The wine is the source of life, of strength, of nutrients to the branches. Of course, as we will read in the coming days, in the other verses, we are likened to the branches, or the branches are likened to us, that are connected to the wine. But it's through the wine that life, or the nutrients, the source of life, is provided to the branches. I notice how Jesus uses the words, I am the true wine. That means it is in Him that we find the true source. He is the true source of life, of nourishment, of nurture, and the cause from which we can bear fruit. He is the true one. Which means that, you know, sometimes if we are not careful, we may try to plug into what is untrue. We may try to draw our source or our resource from something that was not, that is not true. So our goal as believers is to Stay focused on the true wine, the Lord Jesus Christ. The world around us and sometimes people around us may try to point to other things as potential sources of nutrients, of life, of strength, of meaning, of purpose, and so on. We must be clear, Jesus said, I am the true wine. He is the real source. And so, we are very clear in ourselves. We are plugged in to the true wine, the true source. From Him comes our life. From Him comes everything that we need to be very fruitful in life, as we will talk about in the coming days. And then the Lord Jesus also pointed us to the fact that the Father is the wine dresser. The Father is the caretaker, and He is the one who is watching over everything to make sure that the wine and the branches bring forth fruit. So we need to look to God, knowing that He is the one overseeing our lives. He is the one who will work things out in our lives, causing us to be fruitful, while we do our part to stay connected to the true wine. So as we begin this week, today, take a moment to ponder on this. Jesus is the true wine. The Father is the wine breaster. He's overseeing your life. We make a deliberate choice to stay connected to the true wine and we submit ourselves to the wine dresser who oversees our lives. 
Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that as we embark on this journey this week to understand and to receive spiritual truth through these words that you've spoken, Lord, open our hearts, open our understanding. And may we be always connected and committed to the true wine. And may, may we know that the Father is the wine dresser overseeing our lives, doing all that is necessary to make us fruitful. And so we submit to you. Work in us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.